A large number of Western New Yorkers will soon be able to get a COVID-19 vaccine after the governor's office released that list of vaccine eligible comorbidities last week. Now this is a story that we've been following ever since that announcement because it adds so many people to the vaccination list. And after local health experts suggested this week that those in charge may potentially prioritize that list based on who they consider to be most at risk, we wanted to take a closer look. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. The New York State Health Department says people with these select comorbidities will need to show proof of their condition to receive a vaccine through a doctor's letter, signed certification, or other medical information showing comorbidity. In an email Tuesday, the Chautauqua County Public Health Director said, we need to decide how to subprioritize and look to the CDC's recommendations for assistance. Our intent is to ensure equitable access to vaccination amongst people at highest risk for severe disease. A spokesperson with the Erie County Department of Health told to on your side, we are consulting with physicians and healthcare facilities to coordinate how the New York State allocated vaccine doses for individuals with comorbidities will be distributed. Once we have a plan formalized and finalized, we will announce it. I suspect over the next coming days, we'll receive some guidance that will identify individuals with comorbidities that are at highest risk for a bad outcome and therefore push them up to the front of the line to get vaccinated. We reached out to the governor's office and the State Department of Health to ask if it's possible that the state will be releasing guidance on subprioritizing the comorbidities list. And if not, does the state expect the CDC to issue further guidance about this? Instead of answering those direct questions, a spokesperson referred us back to a previous release, which didn't have the answers. In Erie County, a spokesperson with the Department of Health says any plans for individuals with comorbidities will not affect their points of distribution clinics this month. She says at this point they're still rescheduling appointments that were canceled back in January due to lack of supply. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.